What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Bells for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using my favorite fossil Pokemon of all time from Gen 3, Armaldo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day. Just scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, I am streaming three plus days over on Twitch. Genes25 on Twitch. Link is down in the description below and name is right in the bottom right hand corner of this layout. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with today's team preview, starting with the one and only Armando. And I just love its design. Just look at this Pokemon. It looks so cool. Like I said, my favorite fossil Pokemon of all time. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what he is. Is he a dinosaur? He kind of looks like a dinosaur, right? But he's like a shell crab. I don't even know. Shell crab bug? Dinosaur thing? I don't know. It's a Pokemon, but it looks absolutely amazing. I gave it the Life Orb as its item, and it is rocking Swift Swim as its ability. I will also show you guys the EVs. We fully boost it out on attack, and then we have it on HP and speed. So, can hit like a truck, and then it can also get really, really fast in the rain. So, I really do like this Pokemon. He's really, really strong. Move set for this guy is going to be X Scissor, Rock Slide, both for Stab, and then we got Protect and Sword Stance to help this Pokemon set up that times two special attack. Well, not special attack, that times two physical attack. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be the Rain Setter for our motto. It is going to be Polytoad. We have Scald, we got Protect, we got Ice Beam and Encore. He's also rocking the Drizzle, obviously, as its ability. And then the item that he is holding is going to be that Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. <laughs> Third Pokemon on squad is going to be Ambipom. It's going to be our fake out Pokemon. And I will go over exactly why I brought Ambipom on the squad once we get done going over its moves. It's got the Silk Scarf alongside with the Technician as its ability. And the moveset is going to be fake out, double hit, U-turn, and air release. So my thought process behind Ambipom was I need somebody to help set up Sword Dance for Armado. So if I can lead Ambipom alongside with Armado, I can fake out a Pokemon, set up Sword Dance with Armado, and the next turn, Ambipom is super, super fast. I can just U-turn out into the rain. So at that point, we can have a Sword Dance Armado in the rain. Sounds pretty good, right? It definitely sounds good in the head, but hopefully it works out in battle and we get to showcase it to its fullest potential. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Gardevoir over here, and this Gardevoir is super, super strong. I used it multiple times in the past, and I just like it all around. We gave it the Choice Scarf as its item, and we got a great move set of Moon Blast, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. Ability is going to be Telepathy, and then like I just mentioned, item of our choice is going to be that Choice Scarf. Next Pokemon is going to be a great physical attacker. It is going to be Blaziken. We got Fire Fighting type alongside with that Focus Sash as an item. It's rocking Speed Boost as its ability, so at the end of every single turn, it goes plus one on speed. Move set for this guy is Blaze Kick for Stab, Protect, Swords Dance, and Close Combat for a heavy hitting stab move. Final Pokemon on squad is Gyarados. Gyarados is just one of those Pokemon you can bring on any single team, and he is going to do well. It's got Waterfall, it's got Crunch alongside with Dragon Dance to set up and Protect. Obviously, Intimidate's going to be its ability, and then I gave it to Lumberry as its item because I usually like to give it the Life Orb, but I gave Life Orb over to Armada. So I gave it its second best item, which is the Lumberry. But guys, there's the team preview. This is the team we're rocking with Armado. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's get some wins with it. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. This guy's rocking Azumarill, which if I had to guess could definitely be Belly Drum Azumarill, alongside with Latios. He also has Heatran, and then he has Jump Bluff, Articuno, and last but not least, him on top. I kind of want to lead the Ambipom and Armada. I kind of want to lead both of them, try to get them rolling out there and get running with that, and then try to have Politoed in the back end. I feel like that could definitely work wonders. So I'm going to lead them too. I'm going to get rocking out with that, have Politoed in the back end, and then last but not least, do I bring Blaziken? I feel like Blaziken could do work. Same thing with Gardevoir. Gardevoir's pretty solid here. Hmm, who do I go with here? Gyarados isn't too bad. We have three great attackers here. We have one special attacker, which is going to be Gardevoir. Then we have Blaziken and Gyarados for two great physical attackers. But who would be our best bet? I don't even know. Who would be the best out of these three? They all work wonders and they all do good. I kind of don't want to bring Gardevoir just for that uh, just for that Heatran problem. But I feel like Polito can kind of counter that. Hmm, what do I want to do? Gyarados is always looking good. It's always looking solid, but I wish I had an Ice Moon. But we do have Polito with a nice move. It's tough. I feel like I'm leaning towards Blaziken or Gyarados at this point. What does Jeans want to do here? I could go Blaziken. I kind of like Blaziken. I'm going to go Blaziken here. It's a good Pokemon all around. I mean, we just have to watch out for using this fire move. Again, we can always protect, waste out of turn, get that speed boost, and even roll into a close combat if we want. But I like the team that we're leading. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But he's going to end up going Heatran and... Okay, Heatran alongside with uh, 
Latios here. So I could actually just straight up X Scissor if I want to, but I feel like just Swords Dancing, right? I feel like Swords Dancing and just faking out this, uh, faking out this Heat Train. So I kind of see Heat Train as a little bit, right? Heat Train's rather annoying. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fake out the Heat Train. He could set up a substitute. He could go into a Heat Wave. He could do a decent amount, but Tailwind's probably gonna come out in about. Tailwind kind of sucks. Maybe I should have faked out the Latios or the Latios. Maybe he swaps or protects it, thinking that we're going to fake him out. It could definitely be, be an option. But yo, look at my boy Armada. That Pokemon's looking so sick. He's looking so sick. I love it. I love it. His design is so, so nice. I used to use him all the time in Gen 3. He's just such a cool Pokemon. He really is. Definitely way better than his counterpart, Claydolee. Claydolee's like, it's aight, but his design is not even as close as cool as Armada. He's going to end up protecting... Let's go, Ladio. So this is a really good turn. He thinks that we're going to fake it out, which we are not. We're gonna drop a nice little X scissor. Bang. We're gonna chip up some damage there. So they flinch, you can't move. And at this point, we're just gonna set up Source. Look at that, yo. Great turn for us. Great, great turn. For us. So I could drop a Rock Slide and I could U turn and try to get some damage done that way because that might be able to take out the Adios. Which I think it can. Instead of going into an X scissor on that, I think we're just gonna do this. I'm just gonna U turn out and then uh, just drop a Rock Slide across the board. Yep, Amy Palm out speeds everything. You turn to come out here, do some mean damage. Rock slide if it connects onto that Latios. Should be able to take him out with that uh with that what's it called? With that sword dance. So huge huge start for us. We get that sword dance off, we make a great fake out turn. He ends up protecting the Latios and our combo that we uh that we talked about in the team preview come into into effect. So now with the with the rain, our model should be able to outspeed. Rock slide connects on the Latios, it should take him out. Then we have a flinch chance onto that uh onto that heat trend. And then more importantly, we set the brain. So if he's going for a heat wave, we're gonna neglect a lot of damage with that. So let's go. Not a bad combo. Just need my boy Armado to pop off here. Let's go, Armado. Get after it. Get after it. And Amy Palm's just so good all around. He's gonna outspeed me. He really outspeeds me in the rain. That's a fast, that's a fast little booger. But we dodge it anyway. Rock slide comes out here and Rips damage into that heat train. That just rips some damage in the heat train. Rips some damage in the heat train. He's gonna go for the heat wave, probably to dodge that. And like I said, we set the rain and we're gonna neglect a lot of that damage. Which is huge. No burns. Cool, no burns. Let's go. Great turns for us. Great turns for us. So now our motto should be fastest on the floor. It should be faster than jump off. Um I could just go into an X scissor. It's probably my fight. Or I could just rock slide, right? Rock slide should be able to finish that off. Rock slide, and then we can just double down into uh jump off here, right? Might as well double down and jump off because Rockside will be able to finish off the Heatran and we'll just be teeing off from there. And he already canceled battle. Yo, the Armalo combo absolutely ripping in battle number one. What a way to get this video started. My exact plan with the Ambi Palm Armalo and Polytoad got the showcase in battle number one. It was beautiful. Absolutely loved it. And we made our opponent cancel battle into the first couple turns. But we're hopping into our second battle here. We're going up against the same opponent, but luckily they switched teams. So we're going up against a brand new team. He has the Pachirisu, he has the Garchomp, Articuno, and then he has Heatran, Garchomp, not Garchomp, Heatran, Gyarados, and Gardevoir. Okay, so a lot of, a lot of Pokemon with the, with the letter G on his team, but I can definitely see him leading Pachirisu for discharges with the Garchomp itself an option, or you can just follow me out. So, uh, hmm, how do I want to play this one? How does you want to play this one? Uh, Gyarados definitely comes in hot. Gardevoir's decent here. It's okay. It's not anything special, but I could also lead the Armada. Armada's looking pretty solid. I don't really mind him. Um, we could end up leading Heatran. But what do I do here? I could just straight up lead Swift Swim combo, which I'm kind of digging. Get the Swift Swim combo rolling, bring Gyarados in the back end. I do like Gyarados here. And then last but not least, we go Gardevoir or Blaziken? Gardevoir or Blaziken? Gardevoir is nice because it outspeeds a lot and it can do a lot of damage. But Heatran is definitely a problem to it, so I kind of want to just leave Blaziken. I'm cool with that. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But like I said, yo, first battle couldn't have went any more perfect. Like, everything worked out perfectly. The fake out, the Armando Swords Dance, and then we just straight up went into the, what's it called? The U-turn into the rain. We were just buzzing. We were just buzzing from, that, from there. But he's going to end up leading the Gardevoir alongside with the Garchomp. And at this point, I'm just going to drop the, the Ice Beam. Try to get after it that way. And I might just drop a straight X Scissor into Gardevoir here, right? It sounded really good. Or I can straight up protect my Armado because he definitely sees my Armado as a threat. So I'm just going to protect my Armado here. And try to get off this Ice Beam. Yeah, Armado's just going to protect. He's going to end up going for a Rock Slide. We dodge that. And hopefully we don't get flinched here. Like, Politoed should be fine with eating up shots. 
definitely a nice little bulky Pokemon, especially with the Citrus Berry. And he's going to end up going for a Psychic in Armado, so that's a solid turn for us. Polytoke goes with the Ice Beam, and this thing is Yachi Berry. So Yachi Berry is going to come out here, and we're going to send it that way. How much damage are we doing? Not bad damage. Yachi Berry definitely soaks it up. Yachi Berry definitely doing good. I could go Ice Beam here, and on top of that, I could just go into Exorcist, or I could Sword Dance at this point. I could Rock Slide as well. Look for a flinch, but I'm just gonna go straight up exit or try to get off as much damage as I can over. He's gonna end up still dropping a rock slide. We're looking for no flinches. We're looking for no flinches. Armado, can you soak up this psychic for us? Exit comes out first. Bang, big time damage. And oh my god. Armado? Jeez, man, this thing's hitting like a truck. This thing is hitting like a truck. Ice Beam's gonna come out here, and that is a huge start for us. Oh, Armado is so good. That's why I love uh, playing BDSP. You just be you're just using so many fun Pokemon that you never tried out before. So you get to see the potential of a bunch of other Pokemon. But yo, Armado just slapped up on that Gardevoir. Like I was thinking Armado, I was like, oh, maybe I need a Sword Dance to take out that Pokemon. But yo, Armado just came in and whacks that thing. No problem. No problem. He's gonna bring out the Heatran and the Gyarados. Okay. I'm kinda cool with that. I do not mind it. I do not mind it. We have Intimidate in the back end, right? We have Gyarados and And we have a close combat Blaziken who can do some. But from here, I'm just going to... I think he's going to protect. I'm not even, not even going to lie. But I'll still throw a skull that way and drop a rock slide across. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, Armada outspeeds. It's going to be close. It might actually not outspeed. That guy does. What is it? Like 160-something? It does outspeed. That's gorgeous. And he does not protect the heat train. And he does not protect the heat train. So we have a flinch chance here. I think uh, he's going to waterfall into my Armada to take him out. We shall see. Let's see how this one plays out. Crunch is going to come through. And he's going to go after my Polytope with the Crunch. We soaked that. Our Citrus Berry is been scald. I don't know. Polytope might not outspeed Heat Train. Polytope is rather slow, but it's really bulky. He should be able to eat up whatever it has on. He flinches anyway. Oh my god, yo. Our model is ripping. Scald's can come in hot here. We should say bye bye to Heat Train, right? No, we do not. We do not. But still, our model outspeeds, and that should be a rock slide for game, right? That should be a rock slide for game. So I'm just going to double down into the Gyarados just in case. And again, that should be GG for game. All right, get him on out of here. Battle was canceled, and Armaldo and Polytoad sweep in battle number two. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a belly drum line. Yo, battle number one, we dominated with the Armaldo combo. Battle number two, we swept out by leading Armaldo and Polytoad. Now, battle number three, we're looking to just get after it and grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Yo, I love playing BDSP. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the BDSP content. If you are, again, smash that like button, click that bigger subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below so I can keep bringing you guys some more BDSP content. But like I said, he has Belly Jump Lion kind of makes me feel like he's going to lead Belly Jump Lion alongside with him. Got to lead my Amy Palm at this point because Amy Palm is a faster fake out Pokemon, and I really do like that. So I'm going to lead him. I might actually lead the Gardevoir on top of that because Gardevoir is really, really strong. So I'm going to go Gardevoir, Amy Palm, bring Armando in the back and just have it, and then Blaziken just to kind of counter up onto that, uh, what's it called? Onto that scissor. Obviously, I probably would rather have Gyarados instead of Armada, but we're showcasing Armada today, so I'm going to bring him without his rain partner. I'm going to bring him without his rain partner and try to get him thriving here in battle. Yeah, let's see if he leads. Him on top. And, oh, Linoon and Smeargle. Smeargle and Linoon. Okay, so... How should I play this one? Fake out the Linoon. Could drop a Gleam. I fake out the Linoon? I don't think I fake out the Linoon. I don't know. I mean, it has extreme speed, which we definitely have to watch. I'm just going to go here, and I'm just going to drop a Gleam. I'm going to choice into it. So I can double hit up. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to end up protecting the Smeargle. Okay, I like that. Don't protect the Linoon. Don't protect the Linoon. Ah, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Protect the Linoon. He's going to have his, uh, that Smeargle use that, that ability. I think it's Moody. And it gets like a random stat boost. So hopefully it's not speed. Hopefully it's not speed. Because then, then we might have a problem. Let's see what happens here. So he double protects. He blocks the fake out. That's fine. And oh, he's, 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 is he not Moody? Is he, is he not Moody? From here, I could U turn pivot. With a U turn pivot, I could slide right into Armado or even Blaziken. But I got to save my Blaziken just in case. So I kind of just want to U turn into Armado here. Go after you. Actually, I am just going to go straight after this, uh, this Smeargle, because it, it's rocking Spore, and Spore's always a problem. Spore's always a problem. He's going to end up going for a follow me. That's totally fine. I mean, our moves aren't going to change here. He's definitely trying to rip into a belly drum here. But I'm hoping Dazzling Game can do at least half this line. And it does not, so it can still set up a belly drum. Which is kind of a pain. 
kind of a pain. So we end up getting rid of him. We are going to swap into our Armand, though. He is going to belly jump and pop Citrus Berry, right? Is that, was that his whole plan with the follow man? That had to have been his whole plan. I could go into Blaziken, but Blaziken does have Focus Ash. That would probably be the better play. That would probably be the better play. But you know what? I'm just going to go into, going to go into Armando. And I'm just going to protect the Armando and just go into the game. See what he goes into. Yep, there's the belly jump. I'm going to protect the Armando. I'm going to go into a gleam. And then at that point, I might just use my focus. Look at this thing. Lives on one. Such a has got a pokey, right? This thing's just going to drop extreme speed. It's definitely a problem. This is definitely a problem. I wish I had that fucking first turn priority move. Definitely a problem. But yeah, Armando's got to get the protect. He's going to roll into it. If he rolls into Sizzle here, it's going to be a problem. Please don't be Sizzle. Okay, him on top. Superman. You know what? I'm just going to protect Armado, and I'm just going to go for a Gleam. Hopefully, the fake out and all that's coming into the slot. But if he was smart, he would fake out one, and he would extreme speed the other. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. So I'm definitely just going to drop a Rock Slide across the board and Gleam across the board. We got to do it. Oh, no. Why, why did I Rock Slide? I had to protect my Armado. That one's on me. That one's on me. I was just saying the whole time. I'm going to... Bring out my Armaldo. I'm going to protect him. Blah, 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 blah. And then I rock slide with him. <laughs> God dang it, Jeans. God dang it. Let's see what he does. Maybe he protects his line in. I don't even know. This would fake out into Armaldo. And then what's the extreme speed on the Gardevoir? Yeah. It makes my play. Gardevoir gets dumped on. Okay, so from here. Um, from here, I have to use my Focus Ash. It's got, I gotta bring out Blaziken and Focus Ash. I have to Focus Ash up on the Blaziken, so... I could set up a Swords Dance. Obviously, I could protect. But I feel like he has extreme speed into... I want a Swords Dance here. I want a Swords Dance, and I am just going to Blaze Kick. Straight in this. I have to use my Focus Ash Pokemon. He's gonna go for the protect. Wow, what a play. What a play. Is he gonna take off my Focus Ash? Don't, don't you dare do it. Good thing I Swords Dance and didn't protect my Armando. I'm to play by him. He's going to close combat into Armando. Okay. That actually works better for us. Because I still have my Focus Ash. And now I'm Swords Dance up. And I think his defense is in trash. Cool. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. So Armando's posing a threat because it has Swords Dance. And Blaze can still his Focus Ash. I'm really liking that. And my problem here is going to be... Oh, what's it called? My problem here is going to definitely be... The Uh, what is it called? The scissor. If he has scissor in the back end, because I have Ambi Pump. I don't know how Ambi Pump. I do not know how Ambi Pump. I'm just going to Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick should be able to finish off this line in, and we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to extreme speed in somebody, and I'm hoping it's kind of Armalo at this point. He's going to Wide Guard. Okay, so Wide Guard is going to block the Rock Slide, but Blaze Kick is still going to be able to come out here. Extreme Speed comes out here, and my Sash is out and about. Good thing we brought the Blaze Kick with that Focus Ash. Blaze Kick's gonna go. No! We just lost! We just lost! <laughs> we just lost to a missed Blaze Kick. Get out of my face with that one. Get out of my face with that one. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul that we just lost that battle to that missed Blaze Kick. Um, any way I can actually do this? I'm gonna have to get rid of you. That hurts, man. That hurts. He's forced to extreme speed into my, uh. He's forced to extreme speed here. Maybe he'll go for a wide guard here. I'm just X's are down. Let's see what he does here. Go for another wide guard. He reads that protect. Wow, what a play. Wow, I could have just taken out the line in there. I could have just taken out the line in. That one hurts, man. Sucker punch coming in hot. That hurts, man. Miss Blaze Kick. Really gonna lose this battle. I'm trying to figure out ways we can actually win this one. I'm trying to figure out ways we can win this one. So I gotta read this protect from the line in, right? You gotta read the protect from the line in. And so we're just going to fake out the him on top. I mean, if he doesn't do it, he wins the battle. But if he does protect, like, this is our only way. We have to fake out you. And I have to... Just combat into this thing? I mean, yeah, right? I mean, yeah, we have to do that. I can't believe we missed that blaze kick. Hurts the soul. But we're hoping the line protects, which it does. The line ends up protecting. We make that read. We're doubling down him on top here. We're going to fake it out. Mwah. Mean damage. Mean damage. Once you can't move... We're gonna end up dropping close combat. We're gonna finish that thing off. Okay, so now we're sitting in this position where he can just straight up extreme speed. Ah, this one hurts. This one definitely hurts. And I'm trying to think of what we should do here. 
it's tough. This game's tough. Misplays can do me dirty. Anybody but Scissor, right? This first turn priority could really do me bad. Give me Articuno. Okay, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So from here, I could protect, but I feel like I just had to double down into, into Lion here, right? Obviously, I could protect. Obviously, I could protect. Hmm. Obviously, I could protect. What's the action on Blaze Kick? 90. And we missed it? You know, I'm close combat. I'm doubling down the line, and he's got to go. He's going to extreme speed take out one of them. It is. He's going to go after Ambipom. And we need Articuno to miss a shot. We need Articuno to miss a shot. I wish I had protected my Ambipom. And Articuno just straight up outspeeds with a, with an Ice Shard and takes me out. So, wow. GG's. We definitely lost that battle to that missed Blaze Kick. But, hey, all around great battles from our team. And we got to show off our model and his combo, too. Armado just took a leap up on my all-time favorite Pokemon. It is definitely in the top 20, and I think this Pokemon is super cool. Super strong. With that Swift Swim, it hits like a truck due to its high physical attack, and its design is absolutely amazing. Just look at this Pokemon. I feel like everything about it looks so cool. I just like its eyes placement. I like the little, like, I don't even know, shells that are coming outside. Shells slash feathers that are coming outside. And then it has those crabby hands, and it looks like a dinosaur at the same time. I just think it is such a cool design. I think it's one of the cooler designs in all of Pokemon. But 2-1 for today's video. Not too shabby. Got to showcase the, this team to its fullest potential. Got to use the Ambipom, Politoed, and Armado combo. Got to use just Armado and Politoed in battle number two. Then battle number three came down to the wire, but we missed a blaze kick on the line. And that really cost us the whole battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.